Good afternoon and thank you for tuning in to 17 News Flash. I'm C.R. Murdoch and here are your top stories for today. Governor Gavin Newsom announced this afternoon that the state will mandate teachers either be vaccinated or get tested regularly for COVID-19. The move makes California the first state requiring vaccination or testing for educators working on school campuses. The Associated Press reported several large school districts in the state recently issued similar requirements, including San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, and the Long Beach Unified School Districts. Also starting today, visitors to Bakersfield hospitals will be required to provide proof of COVID-19 vaccination or a negative test in order to be allowed inside. Unvaccinated visitors must show proof that they've had a negative COVID-19 test within three days of the visit, and vaccinated visitors must show proof that they've been fully vaccinated within two weeks of their visit. More on the state order and the recent influx on COVID-19 numbers that prompted this change on our website. And the deadly toll from the illicit synthetic opioid fentanyl continues to rise. The Kern County Coroner's Division reported that local fentanyl deaths are now at 94, putting the county on track for 155 overdose deaths attributed to the drug. That would be a 24% increase from last year's death total of 125. For more on why fentanyl deaths are up across the county and information about the fentanyl epidemic, check out the 17 News podcast, Fentanyl, the Counterfeit Killer, on our website, kget.com. And in Northwest Bakersfield, authorities say more than 100 pounds of methamphetamine and handgun and other drugs were seized during a probation search last week. Officers found the drugs while making a home call near Nudson and Olive Drive. For more on the investigation that saw officers seize over 117 pounds of illegal drugs, head to our website. And a woman wanted in connection to a deadly shooting yesterday is now behind bars. According to the Bakersfield Police Department, 40-year-old Geraldine Spotwood was arrested and charged for murder in connection to the shooting that took place on I Street that left one man dead. This is an ongoing investigation, and if you have any information, you're urged to contact BPD at 327-7111. Now taking a look at education news, there's still time to donate to KGET's Backpack Drive in partnership with the Bakersfield Homeless Center. We're asking for basic school supplies such as backpacks, notebooks, pencils, as well as school clothes and underwear for boys, girls, and teens. The drive lasts until this Friday and you can find complete details and information on where to drop supplies off on our website. And looking ahead to 17 News at 5, 500 days ago, Kern County learned about its first death to COVID-19. Since then, we've lost 1,429 lives. 17's Alex Fisher takes us on an in-depth look at how this pandemic targeted our community. He'll explain why COVID was the leading cause of death during that year and why the count may be higher than what's originally being reported. Also on tonight's show, the results of our feedback poll. Across the state of California, a health order went into effect requiring visitors at hospitals, skilled nursing facilities, and intermediate care facilities to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19. If you're not fully vaccinated, you must show proof of a negative COVID-19 test. Otherwise, you won't be let in. We want to know, should hospital visitors be required to get the vaccine? There's still time to have your opinion heard. Just head to our Facebook page. For more on any of the stories in today's show, just head to our Facebook page, kget.com newsflash. That's it for today. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day.